Okay, all right, cool. So uh, we're here with part two um, with Willie. That was a about a 10 second break, um, which is not very substantial, but uh, you know, break nonetheless. So we're gonna start again with um, some more questions. So question number five. <clears throat> If you had to give advice to younger folks about what to what to do and what to watch out for, in order to make sure that they have, um, I don't know, like like I'm 32. So, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who wants to have your same health and vigor when they're 68, 69, 70 years old? Like, what kind of what kind of what are the stupid things that I should avoid doing, and what are the, you know, I don't know, health tips, I guess, or lifestyle tips? I mean, you already talked about uh, passion being a, a very important part of of your, um, you know, maintaining your health right now, but, like, what kind of things would you advise, like, a younger generation to do? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first of all, Josh, I don't really, I don't give advice, per se, because then that's already knowing, and then the other doesn't know. So I'd like to feel that everybody does know, so I'll give, in a sense, direction, something like that. Uh, maybe you're holding your hand that way, maybe hold it this way, and then you have it. So something like that. So I give direction with it, and I, and I guess I'd say that, uh, eat carefully. Don't get over full. Don't overeat, in other words. Eat the right stuff. Of course, what is that? Everybody, for everyone, it's a little different. Um, don't go heavy, I guess, uh, on meat constantly. Um, I don't know. I, I, I make vegetable juices in the morning. I eat pretty well. I, uh, my, my downfall is I eat a lot of like sugars and what have you, or things that turn into sugars, which aren't so good, I guess, for you, but so far I've managed well. I just was, I think I got a fairly good clean of bill of health last week from the doctor. He said, you're okay, other than I said, my, I got scrunched with the, on my chest. Uh, he said, no, you're fine, it'll just go, and I said... Well, here's a quick question. Sounds good. With, uh, you mentioned yeah. with um, earlier that, you know, you were a vegetarian when you were younger, and people used to break your balls about it all the time. Um, <laughs> what, like, are you still a vegetarian, or you eat some meat now, or...? No, I, I yeah, I was, by the time I got to be about 20, Josh, I, I got... So hungry, I went to Europe, and I was so hungry, I was starving, so you start to eat whatever was available, uh, in a sense, and of course, uh, included meat. So I do include meat now, but I'm always a little careful, not only uh, high-quality meat, but also how much I'm taking in. I, I think over the years, that meat, dead stuff in your body, unless you eliminate well, which again is the whole key, uh, elimination and circulation, so you get those guys going well, you're probably okay for another, um, you know, to a hundred, something like that, all depending on that person. But if you overindulge, let's say uh, you don't get enough sleep, uh, do a good bit of alcohol, uh, carouse around a lot, uh, have, I can't say impure thoughts, that's foolish, but in other words, where you're just constantly bringing yourself down instead of rising up. And, so like more positive thinking more kind of positive. stuff? yeah, yeah. Uh, we all have all sorts of crazy thoughts, and that's fine. Um, but you just have to be able to channel them and, and direct them well, so they're always working for you. Otherwise, you just become it's just like digging digging that hole. You just digging a hole yourself. That you're digging yourself in the hole. You don't want to be in there. Fortunately, if you do get in that hole, if you know you're there, at least you know you're in the hole. Most people don't know they are. They're just wild and and off just in their own crazed. So that's important too, know where you where you are. Right, so like, you know, like a lot of people think that like they're they're just kind of cruising along and they're okay because, you know, they, they eat a crappy yeah. crappy diet and they, they think a certain way and they, you know, drink a lot or do a lot of drugs or whatever and they think yeah. they're okay but they're they're in that hole that you're talking about. Right. And they don't even realize they're in that hole. Right, and while you're young they say they say uh, the adage, uh, youth is wasted on the young. But then you could just say youth uh, is wasted, so you don't want to waste any time. Uh, you do have, you know, time is very precious. Uh, when you're young, you have all the time in the world. Oh, I can do this, I can do that. Uh, maybe yes, maybe so. But as you get older, then you realize a lot of stuff you've done, you've wasted your time, or uh, you've just put the stuff in the wrong place, and now try to get that back and be, fo you know, be focused, be do what you need to do. Maybe it's more difficult. So do some martial arts. Get with the program, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> check your passions out, and, uh, and I guess that's you know that's kind of a, a start, I guess. And, and, and eat fairly well, and I do see a lot of people eating well too. But a lot of them are caught up with, I guess, the high tech uh, 
this world now, which is which is upon us. And I, I don't know. Uh, you need to have your own replenish your own thoughts. So you need to be able to think, be a thinking read, as they say. So how do you do that? There's that question. How do you, how do, you do that? I don't know. For myself, uh, I think because I've I look at books, I listen to music, I don't get too much information that I can't uh, assimilate myself and, and rehash and bring to another level with. So I keep it that for myself. I keep it that way, so I'm okay. But if I if it gets too much information and it's not me and I don't know what to do with it, it's just information coming in, then it doesn't mean anything to me, and it'll just be a detriment to me. It'll slow me down. It's like uh, putting axle grease on the wrong on the rubber. It doesn't work. You know, I got gotcha. you. So it's like for you, it's kind of like. Um like, for example, I go on the Internet, and I'll look at 10 different websites in five minutes and get 50 different ideas from those 10 different websites, and it overloads my brain. Right. But for you, you sort of slow down, almost like, um, you know, like, like with food. Like, you don't eat too much. You don't take in too much information. You, you read a book, and you kind of focus on what that thing says, and you digest your information slowly right. without kind of overwhelming yourself. Right, and see where, what that is about. But it's just this, I mean, you just don't start spouting names ideas which are not yours, so you try to have those, uh, you become part of that, and maybe you have ideas too, although you've taken them from elsewhere, and that's fine, no problem with that, but again, it's come that thinking read, yeah. Huh, that's awesome, that's, that's, um, that's some food for thought right there. Um, one of the other questions I had for you is, uh, what are your plans and goals for your art and uh, your jujitsu for doesn't have to be for 2012, could be for the yeah. rest of your life, could be for the next week, could be whatever. I know you have an art show coming up in Massachusetts. Yeah. Well, you try to, um, let's see, the jiu-jitsu and art, I just keep keep going. Um, I have, you know, you have ideas, you'd love to be somewhere, um, so you don't have to be uh, reliant on money, or, you know, lack of money, so... That's an issue, I guess, with me because I'm always having to think where the money is. But then I don't think of it real hard by go getting a job that I wouldn't want to waste my time with. I've done that, I guess, when I was younger. So now I don't. So really, I, I devote myself to uh, pretty much painting, doing what I want to do, um, coming to jujitsu, jiu -jitsu, and um, the game gets better and better. I'm learning more. Doors are opening all the time. Uh, I don't say, ah, oh, I got this down, I know this. No, it's always a, a continuum of, wow, this and that's there. But I, I don't beat myself to death like saying, man, I should have done this 40 years ago, anything like that. No, everything, again, is in that spiral. There it is, it's placed there, I guess that's, that's how it is. Uh, I met a lot of wonderful people, I have a great time, keep myself somewhat open. I have my own moments of rage, of course, but uh, who doesn't in this culture? If you don't, something's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah. Um, and the painting, um, no one's really discovered me yet, but that's okay because I don't know what that means. Uh, I enjoy myself, and I, I do, do a lot of my paintings. We can talk about that, but briefly, uh, uh, a lot of my stuff, I, I work for my own mind, whatever it is. Things happen. You have to have the ability to see that once it happens, you have to go with it, challenge it, whatever it is, and make it work. So I guess I've gotten to some level with that, so I can do that with the paintings, and that's exciting. Nice. Let me, um, let me, yeah, sure. I'm going to start part three, so let me take okay. a pause for a second. Yeah.